presenting the Electronics Learning Kit now available at your local library, or will be soon if you're watching this on the day it comes out. Still, really cool. This box, which is basically just a big box of components. It's got resistors, LEDs, servo motors, input devices, uh, output devices, sensors. This in conjunction with these books that we will be putting out with them is everything you need to learn basic electronics. Each one of these kits comes with an Arduino Uno and a breadboard, a solderless breadboard, so that you can try these projects out and then put everything back when you are done. This book is fantastic. Now we have two different kinds of kits. This is actually the Elgu kit and this is the Freenov book. We have a Freenov kit and an Elgu book. I'm mismatching them on purpose so that I can tell you if you do this, if you mismatch them, you can still use them. There might be a few things like uh, you might run into one that has a component, the LED bar graph that where's the LED bar? Oh, it's not in this kit. Okay, well, fine. You can't do this project, but that's okay. Just go on to the next one and you'll be fine. This is a fantastic book. I, I promise you, if you start from lesson one and go all the way to the end, you will be a master. You will learn how to use servos and motors and, and all sorts of really cool things. Now, we're going to do a project together, but there's one more thing you need. You need the Arduino software running on your computer. Okay, so we got that up and running. And I'm going to jump ahead into book just a little bit to do one of the, not later, later projects. Here we go. We're going to do project 4.1 today. LEDs emit different brightnesses. So it starts with a little bit of circuit knowledge so you can understand a little bit about pulse width modulation and how that affects things and how the Arduino can do that. It talks a little bit about code, talking about functions and return values, something which it entirely fails to do in the code for this section. But that, that's all right. That's not a big deal. This maybe isn't the best written book in the world, but it's still good and, you know, it's free. It's available out there. You guys can do it. And then we got this sketch here. So we need to take the LEDs. So a couple of LEDs. We need to take some drop-in resistors. Drop-in resistors right there, 220s. Uh, a couple of, of these cables here. Okay. And the breadboard. And we need to wire it all up just like this diagram right here. So let me do that real fast. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. And there. There we go. Just like the diagram. Perfect. Now we need to wire it into the Arduino. So let's see. Uh, this little piggy goes to pin 5. This little piggy goes to pin 6. Uh, this little piggy goes to pin 9. This little piggy goes to pin 10. And this little piggy goes wee, 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 all the way to ground. All right. Then we take the cable the USB cable. We plug one half of this into the Arduino and the other half of this into our computer. Lights up, shows connection. Let's, uh, on the software here, let's make sure, yep, we are, we've got the right com selected. And now we have to type in the code in this book right here. So I'm just going to real quickly uh, do that. And there we go. All right, so here is the code all written in. And I have to admit, this code kind of drives me a little crazy because in the previous lesson, they talked about using arrays, but then we go back to using four separate pin one, pin two, pin, pin three. Oh, got a typo. Sometimes that happens when you're typing, and that's how you learn. You make mistakes. Okay, so everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and upload it and see what happens. And something doesn't look good. Expected. Close parentheses before the end. Uh, oh, because I need, looking at the code in the book, I go, huh, what did I, oh, I need two close parentheses at the end of every one of these. And I only put one close parentheses at the end of every one of, well, that makes sense. Because we've got the map function with its open and close parentheses. And then we've got the analog write function with its open and close parentheses. So yes, we need two open and close parentheses at the end here. Okay, I think that's better. Let's find out what happens. Do 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 do. Keep an eye on the LEDs over there. 
If this works, aha, there they go. All the LEDs are lighting up at different brightnesses, just like the code said it would. This one's at 2% brightness. This one's at 10% brightness. This one's at 50% brightness. This one's at 100. And you know, now that I've got this set up, I kind of want to like do more of them and see if I can get like, like make them cycle through and move around and, and, and change over time using pause function and rewriting this to be an array. But that is entirely extracurricular. At this point, though, let's assume that I'm done. So what I need to do is uh, I can reset the... Uh, it's still got the code in there. No problem. Uh, I can unplug the Arduino and remove all of its pins, put them back. I can take all of the cables, put them back. I can take the LEDs, and you'll notice that the LED spot is marked with a little picture of the LEDs. Let's go back to full screen over here. So it's really easy to tell where all the LEDs go. So there's the bag of LEDs, and I will put them all back there. And then, you know, each one of these has, a, uh, if, if you're wondering where things are, just look at the bottom. Okay, this is where all of our resistors go. So let's put our resistors in there. Get everything back where it is, close it up, and return it to the library for the next person to use. And you've gotten a little smarter, and everybody can get a little smarter and learn electronics. I think this is super cool. I'm excited to see what you build with this, and I look forward to seeing you at the Makerspace.